Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am in the van, and it's dark. It's actually not morning time. It's like 1 p.m. I haven't gotten up yet. I'm at my friend's house. Uh, I went to her house last night to bring her those uh pillows and mattress cover and she was like sleep in my driveway please 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 <laughs> and i was like okay i'll sleep in your driveway but anyway y'all i am here for my morning motivation i just got through listening to Somebody talk about their health issues, diabetes, obesity, depression, and just different medical issues that they have. And I don't know, it kind of makes me sad when... people are sad and when they accept their illness their sickness or disease when they have the power to change it and I just want to encourage you today uh, that just because you're diabetic doesn't mean you have to stay diabetic just because you're depressed doesn't mean you have to stay depressed. Just because you're overweight doesn't mean you have to stay overweight. Regardless of what your condition is, you accepting that condition, and when I say accepting it, acknowledging it and accepting it is two different things. Acknowledging that you are diabetic is saying, hey, I'm diabetic and I don't have to stay that way. That's acknowledging it. Accepting that you are diabetic or accepting that you're obese or accepting that you're depressed to me, that means, oh, I'm diabetic and I'm going to always be diabetic. And that's just the way it is. But that doesn't have to be your reality. Just because you are diabetic, you travel down a path that made you diabetic. And you can change your path. You could change your direction. You could change the course of your life at any given moment. And you do not have to accept that. And there's nothing to fear in life but fear itself. And sometimes the fear of the unknown, like why accept that? Everybody in my family was diabetic. Everybody in your family was diabetic because of a pattern of eating, a pattern of being. And diabetic is not something that, you know, has to be your destiny, has to be your future. It doesn't have to be the death of you. You have the power to change your diabetic status by what you put in your mouth. You choose to be diabetic every single day of your life. When you choose to eat certain things, it's a, it's a way of being. And I know it's hard to break habits, to break patterns, to break things that were generationally passed down from your family members to yourself. 
It's a state of mind. It's a state of being. And that's why one thing why I try to encourage parents to pass down healthy eating habits, healthy ways of being and thinking to their children because your patterns and your habits are something that are automatically taught to your children and you inherently pass those things down to them and your struggles in life you're passing down to them and your struggles are nine times out of ten going to become their struggles because you're passing down those generational curses and you getting yourself together and loving yourself is also loving your children and giving something to them in the future that is going to be a positive for them and not a struggle. When you struggle with your weight and your health and you pass those same eating habits on to your children, they become your children's struggle. That becomes their future. That becomes their destiny. Uh, I was told yesterday that someone that we know found out that she had cancer and she has a young child and she's obese her child is obese all they eat is frozen food frozen dinners and and your struggle becomes your child's struggle i just want to encourage somebody today in this video that no matter no matter what your struggle is, if it's diabetes, if it's overweight, if it's depression, no matter what it is, if it's a struggle that comes from a choice, then that struggle can be changed. That struggle can be overcome you can win the battle over that struggle. And that struggle doesn't have to be the death of you. That struggle doesn't have to be your destiny and your future. You don't always have to have diabetes. You don't always have to be depressed. You don't always have to be overweight. Don't look at it as the big challenge that you have to overcome. Look at it as one day at a time. One bite at a time. Look at it as I have the power over food. Food doesn't have the power over me. Take your power in your hands and become victorious. Become free of the things that are holding you back. And you can do it. You have a village of people supporting you, whether you know it or not. You have people praying for you. You have people encouraging you, motivating you, and wanting the best for you. All you have to do is want it for yourself. That's all you have to do is want it for yourself. You can overcome diabetes. You can overcome obesity. You can overcome depression. You can overcome 
being addicted to cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, sex, whatever your addiction is, you can overcome it. I just want to encourage you today to do your part and stop giving in to what has been your norm. Being healthy may be mean not being normal. And what I mean by that is your normal that was passed on to you was abnormal, but it became your norm because that's all you knew. And that doesn't have to be your normal. Your normal can be being a better you. Uh, I promote everyone to look into iodine. Iodine is something that we have not been taught that is a necessity for all the parts of our bodies and our organs to function properly. Selenium is something that we know nothing about that is very important for the help, for the health of our body. So I encourage everyone out there to look into iodine, to look into selenium, to start eating healthy foods, uh, and to start eating uh, where you are not necessarily counting calories, but eating in moderation, like and eating smaller meals. Start with training yourself to whatever you normally eat, eat half of it. Eat half of it now and half and the other half that you normally eat two hours from now. Train yourself to eat less at a time. You could still eat the same amount of food at the beginning. Just train yourself to not eat all of that food at one time and eat half of what you would normally eat, eat half of that. And then two hours, three hours from now, eat the other half. And eventually taper off that amount to where you're not eating that much. I'm going to pray today for myself and you guys. And I hope that this word that I'm saying today is an encouragement to you to overcome whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is. If it's being a diabetic, if it's being overweight, if it's being depressed, if it's smoking cigarettes, if it's cursing, if it's watching stuff that is not positive, if it's gossiping, no matter what it is, you can overcome and you can overpower the negative things in your life and replace them with positive behaviors. Father God, as I come to you right now, Lord Jesus, I ask you to use this message to touch the heart of someone today that is struggling, Father God, that is struggling to get their health intact, that is struggling to do the right thing for their life, Lord Jesus. They have patterns and behaviors that have been passed on down to them from when they were a child that have become a part of their lifestyle and difficult for them to overcome. Right now, Lord Jesus, I want you to empower them with the knowledge and the wisdom and the strength that they need 
to overcome each and every obstacle in their life. Give them the motivation to finally do the things that they know that they should do that they don't feel that they can do, Lord Jesus. And let them know that all things that they are capable of doing and overcoming any and everything through the strength that you have given them. And let them see how important you are to the process of them overcoming the things that they need to overcome in their lives. Let them see that they need to put you first and they need to lean on you and depend on you and call on you and trust in you that when they are weak, you will be their strength, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for this platform. I thank you for encouraging me daily to do what I need to do where I can get up and encourage others. I thank you, Father God, for giving me the power and the strength and the wisdom to overcome depression. I thank you, Father God, for loving me back to a healthy place where I can encourage others. And I know, Father God, that you can encourage them to choose life. And not just any old life, but a healthy and prosperous life. This prayer, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I want you to be the best that you can be. Please look into iodine and selenium. Please take your power and don't let anything and anyone in this life have power over you. If you are not subscribed to this channel already, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I am trying to get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of March, but right now our goal is to get to 2,500 subscribers, and we need about four or five more subscribers to get to 2,500. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell when you hit the subscribe button, and then hit always so you will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And remember you guys, everything in life doesn't have to be perfect i am coming to you with a video in the dark to motivate you and encourage you it's not perfect but just do what you could do take each day and each moment at a time and don't let you questioning yourself defeat you even before you get started just put one foot in front of the other and watch God do the rest. In Jesus' name, amen.